All right, Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to my power, Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Mercha, Kwadash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly called Jesus. And the Mercha Kwadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh Bashem Shai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide us in these last days. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Shai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude the men, women, and children that believe, all right? And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying unto the hopeful elect. And uh, this lesson, Lord willing, will be entitled John chapter 3 and verse 16. And uh, before I started this lesson, I typed in on Google, what is the most famous scripture? And of course, John chapter three and verse 16 is number one out of the top 20 most popular Bible verses from the scriptures. All right. And since John chapter three and 16 is the most famous scripture, it's also the most uh, misconstrued. All right. It's also the most misinterpreted scriptures uh, throughout the Holy Bible. So um, I'm going to be going into this scripture, John chapter 3 and verse 16. And uh, Lord willing, you know, the Lord puts the spirit on me, you know, to, to hit different uh, precepts. All right. Because as the scripture says, precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here, there, and a little there. So let's open up with John 3 and verse 16. It reads, for the most high, Yahweh, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So we have to go into this world world, okay? Because, you know, you have different uh, types of world, okay? You got a sports world, you got an animal world, okay? You got a uh, sea world. So we're gonna go into this word, a world here in the Greek, all right, because the Bible was written in uh, Hebrew and Greek, and you have uh, some Latin. So we're going to go into this word world here in the blue letter Bible. Let's go to the word world. Strong's G 2889, cosmos, cosmos. Okay, so the Greek word for this word world is cosmos. And we're going to hit a point. It says an app and harmonious arrangement or constitution order a government read that one more time it says an app and harmonious arrangement so we got to get who did the lord make an arrangement with who did the lord make an agreement with let's go to the book of uh, psalms 147 in verse 19 and verse 20 starting at verse 19 psalms 147 and verse 19 he showeth his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel so the law statutes and commandments was given unto the israelites which consists of you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans and also you have the israelite foreigners that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. That's written in the book of Deuteronomy. And it's also written in the book of James. And, you know, you got plenty of other scriptures. But let's just get this. This is James 1 and verse 1. Then we're going to go back. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Amashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. So the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel has been scattered abroad. So you're going to have the Israelites in all different parts of the world. 
All right, you're going to have Israelites in the land of Asia. I mean, the continent of Asia. You're going to have Israelites in Russia. You're going to have Israelites in Japan. You're going to have Israelites in, um, in the Philippines. You're going to have Israelites uh, in Iraq. Literally, all throughout the world, any part of the world that you can name, you have Israelites that's been scattered across the four corners of the earth. So going back to Psalms 147 and verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation, right? The Lord has not dealt with any other nation except for the nation of Israel. It says, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. So no other nation knows the judgments of the Heavenly Father, all right? And when you think about the Lord judging a, a people, uh, judging a nation, only the nation of Israel has been judged as a whole, all right? The so-called blacks went into slavery. The so-called um, uh, Hispanics and Native Americans went into slavery. We the only people that know the judgments of the Heavenly Father. All right. And still until this day, we're going through the judgments. We're going through the curses. Who is the people that's locked up in, in jail? All right. You look at the percentage of blacks, Hispanic and Native Americans locked up in jail. We fill up the jail cells. All right, who's who's um who has the evil eye towards one another? All right, you got black on black, so-called black on black crime. All right, you got Latin Kings versus uh, Bloods and Crips. All right, you got Crips versus Bloods. You got Vice Lords versus GDs and and etc. Okay, you, uh, who's cursed in the city? All right, who lives in the in the worst parts of of the city? Don't matter. Where you go, you can go to Florida, you can go to Texas, you can go to New York, you can go to Chicago, you can go to L.A., you can go to Mississippi. Who are living in the hoods and the ghettos, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the children of the Most High, all right? And the Lord judged us because we disobeyed his law, statutes, and commandments, okay? So let's go back to the book of John 3, John 3, and verse 16. For the Most High so loved the world, all right, the world of Israel. It says that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So who, who are the ones who's believing in the Lord here and today? The elect, all right? And that's who the Heavenly Father, uh, that's who the Heavenly Father will have mercy upon in these times, his, his elect. All right, Yahweh Shah is coming to gather his elect. All right, and according to biblical prophecy, Zechariah 13 and 8. Let's go there real quick. All right, Zechariah 13 and verse 8, and it reads, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So the Lord, Yahweh Shah, who this world ignorantly called Jesus, He's not even come back to save all of the nation of Israel. All right. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. The two parts is representing the two thirds of the nation of Israel. And when you break that down to the pie charts, it goes back to 66.6 .6 of our people will be destroyed when the heavenly father uh, sends his only begotten son. It says, but the third shall be left therein. That third is speaking about the remnant. Okay. Which is the elect. All right, 33, 33.3% 33, 33 of the nation of Israel will be delivered when Yahweh Shai returns back. So let's go to the book of Matthew 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Right, and that's a uh, uh, possessive. All right, who, who, is the, who is his people? The same people that the Lord made that arrangement with going back into the, uh, into the Greek word cosmos, which means an, a harmonious arrangement. Let's read this one more time. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashah, for he shall save his people from their sins. And when you go into that word, Yahawashah, it means, it means he saves he delivers. And who is the Lord coming to deliver? His elect. All right. Let's get another scripture. This is 
Staying in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So when Yahweh Shai was walking the, the face of the earth, all right, he wasn't preaching unto the so-called uh, white nation. He wasn't preaching unto the Arabs and, you know, the different uh, heathen nations, it's the so-called Chinese. All right, the Lord, uh, this is written in red letter. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, and so the Lord is only coming back to save the nation of Israel, but more particularly the elect of the nation of Israel. Let's go to Malachi 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord, Yahweh. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord says that he changes not. So the Lord is the same today. He's the same tomorrow. All right. The Lord does not change. The, the times change. The, uh, the date changes. You know, the month changes. But Yahweh Bashim Shai remains the same. Okay, and and John three sixteen is one of the most misinterpreted scriptures in the Bible. You know these Christians they would read John three sixteen only God so loved the world. Okay, but the scripture says study to show thyself approved. So you got to go into these words. You got to go into the Greek. You got to go into the Hebrew. Sometimes you got to go into the Latin of the origin of these words and get the proper understanding of the word world okay and um let's go to the book of isaiah i believe that's uh 45 this is isaiah 45 and 17 but israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So the Lord uh, equates the nation of Israel to as a world. Okay. So it says, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord. It didn't say all the whole planet earth will be saved. It didn't say all people. It says Israel shall be saved in the Lord. With the everlasting salvation. This is Isaiah 14, beginning at verse 1. It reads, For the Lord, Yahweh, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So that's another scripture. The Lord says he will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So mercy is ultimately going to be shown to the all of the nation of Israel. But when Yahweh Shai turns to the world, they really call Jesus. The Lord will only show mercy upon the elect. All right, that small remnant that will that's that's the only people that's gonna be saved. It says, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, right? And the strangers are going into the Israelite foreigners. Okay, going into uh John one and one to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. All right, you also go to the book of Deuteronomy. Oh, that's one of the curses. That the Lord said he would scatter us throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Let me get a quick precepts. So on my spirit right here. Let's go to Amos 9 and verse 8. It reads, behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Right. And the eyes of the Lord, who are the eyes of the Lord? The angels. Okay. Which are, which are uh, watching. All right. Watching the, watching the people, watching the earth. Okay, and it says that upon a sinful kingdom, right? In America, it, in this time, is that sinful kingdom. You have a place in Las Vegas called Sin City, okay? And this is why America, all throughout the scriptures, all right, lets you know that America is going to be destroyed, all right, by way of thermonuclear missiles, all right? And America will never be inhabited again. That's how wicked that this place is. It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right. How is this place going to be destroyed? By way of thermonuclear missiles, thus saith the Lord. All right. That's why you hear uh, the different uh, wars and the rumors of wars. All right. You're hearing about Russia. You're hearing about Iran. You're hearing about China. 
All right, all these countries are getting ready for World War Three, which is soon to take place. It says, saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, right? Because all of Israel is not going to be destroyed. The Lord says he's going to reserve a remnant. It says, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. So that was the point. Okay, because you got Israelites scattered literally all throughout the world. Okay, but the Lord, if those, those Israelites that scatter throughout the four corners of the earth, the Lord is going to um, gather them up. All right, it says, like as corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Right, so all the sinners, all those um, wicked Israelites who are uh, willfully sinning, okay, because this word has gone out throughout the four corners of the earth, and that's why you're seeing uh, judgment getting ready to play out. That's why you're seeing the wars, the rumors of wars, man, because the time of Yahweh Shai's return is near, man, all right, and it says, what's saved, the evil shall not overtake, nor prevent us, and that's the mindset of of our people. They think that evil is not going to come upon them. All right, they think that they're not going to be judged for their sins. Hey, but the Lord says, as a thief in the night, that's how Yahweh Shai is going to return. When you people least suspect it, all right, because hey, what's the mindset of these Babylonians? Partying, drinking, you know, turning up on a weekend, you know, planning marriages, you know. So that's the day of the Lord is going to overtake these people as a thief because they're not watching. All right. They're not being circumspect as the Lord commanded us to be in these last days. So going back to Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Right. The Israelite foreigners that's looking like other nations. It says, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them. And bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for service and handmaids. All right, so just like how we are modern day slaves, we're servants, we're handmaids. Okay, you go to these restaurants. Who who who's in the back preparing food? So called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Right. You go. Uh, who's who are um, who are um, you know? You go to the. You go to to the hotel. Who, who who's the maids? Who's cleaning up the hotels? Who who's um uh, who's um uh, cutting? The, who's doing landscaping? All right, you got Instacart. All right, you go on the you go on the construction site. Who you who's 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 the majority on the construction site? So called Black, Hispanic, and Native American men. All right, so hey, just like how we are servants, you other nations are going to be our servants in the kingdom of heaven, and that's justice. It says, and they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Right. And who's oppressing us? All the different nations. But beginning with the uh, the Edomites, the so-called white nation, they are our number one arch enemy, along with the different nations. Right. Because we read Psalm the 83rd chapter. OK. It lets you know uh, that all these nations are um, conspiring against us. So let's get that. This is Psalms 83 and starting at 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Right. Thy people, which is possessive. All right. Who, who, who is thy people speak about? You so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We are the children of Israel, man. It says... And consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. How are they cutting us off from being a nation? All right. They're feeding abominable foods onto us. Pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. All right. Pushing these wicked philosophies. All right. Christianity. All right. Um, 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 Egyptology. All right. Satanism. You know, Buddhist. Buddhism. You know. Uh, uh, Rastafarian, right? You got all these uh, uh, idols, which 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 they push upon us, man. You know, this, they they put churches on every corner, all right. In the Jake neighborhoods, they put McDonald's, they put Burger King, Wendy's, all right. Walmart's, which you know sell us 
defiled foods. You know, when we go into the to the heathens uh, neighborhoods, you know what they have? They have Whole Foods. They got Kroger's. They got um, um, what other uh, top shelf uh, grocery stores do they have? Um, Sprouts. You know, he, he, you don't see Walmarts in, in the so-called white man's neighborhoods. You don't see uh, Hooks and Buzz Chicken in the so-called white man's communities. Okay, they, they have uh, healthier restaurants. They got healthier uh, grocery stores, you know. You go in Jake Hoods, you know, you got malt liquor that's uh, accessible unto you, you know. You, you know, but you go into the Edomites uh, liquor stores, what they have, ABC liquor. All right, they got Total Wine. So you see the the difference that they um, make between the heathens and the nation of Israel. That's all done systematically to destroy us. It says that the name of Israel, baby, no more remember. So, and they trying to kill us. All right, that's ultimately what they trying to do. They trying to kill us. Okay, they, they <laughs> Moab, the so-called Chinese, they come in your neighborhoods. They set up these uh, Chinese restaurants and what they feed our people, cat, dog, ducks, right? Rats, all type of abominable foods, all type of foods that's defile you, you know? But they say, oh, it's it's uh, stew chicken, right? They say it's uh, egg foo yarn, all right? But really it's abominable foods. It's things to keep you uh, destroyed, man, all right? give you foods that's high in sodium right and it says um also you got the arabs who come and set up uh corner stores you know and what they give our people black and mild cigarettes blood blunt wrappers swishers backwoods the lowest of uh um, of malt liquor right and it says verse five for they have consulted together with one consent they are confederate against thee, right? So they they all coming together at the round table to keep us in a lower state. How are we going to keep these so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans um, in the state of sin? How are we going to keep them in this low state? All right, and we don't have no, no seat at those tables. All right, so that's proven who our enemies are. So, hey, that's a righteous thing for you. How about Shemel Shah to give us as their slaves, man? All right? And we're going to rule over these nations with a rod of iron, as the scripture says. All right. And. Um, let's go to Revelation 13 and start at 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, right? And who led us into captivity? All right, Esau, Edom, all right? And also the other nations did as well, okay? They, a lot of these nations, they funded the transatlantic slave trade, all right? The book of Joel, all right? I believe that's the third chapter, uh, goes into how they sold uh, uh, a boy for, uh, a harlot for wine, all right? They, they uh, barter and trade, all right? Israelite. Israelite women and Israelite men, you know, for certain uh, valuable uh, assets. So all these nations uh, go have to pay for having a hand in our captivity. He says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, right? So he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right. And hey, Esau, Edom, he's still shooting us down in the streets. All right. Still has his foot on our necks, man. All right, and this is why we're waiting to to, to get you uh, so-called white people as slaves, man. All right, and this is this is our faith, all right? Hey, we gonna continue to wait patiently upon that, man. All right, so when people talk about John 3.16, all right, that's not talking about the whole planet Earth, man. Why, why, does, why does the Edomites need a savior? Why does the so-called Chinese man need a savior? Why does the so-called East India need a savior? This is their kingdom, all right? The so-called white man, they're running the planet Earth, okay? They, 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 they control the banks, 
They control the media. They control the food. This is Job 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? So the wicked, the, the, uh, the Edomites, the so-called white nation, they are ruling the planet earth. It was given into the hand of the wicked. It says he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, and we know who, who covered the faces of the judges, man. The same man who was running the planet earth, he covered the faces of the judges. And who was the main judge? Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. All right, when pe people think about the Messiah, they think about a so-called white man with blonde, with blonde hair, blue eyes, right? So-called white dude. You know, but the true image of the of the heavenly Father and His Son is a dark skinned man, as he's as, as if he burned in in a furnace with white woolly hair. All right, and that's who's coming back to save the nation of Israel, man. All right, I'm gonna get one more scripture to wrap this up with. This is Obadiah one and verse fifteen. It reads, "For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen." As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. And that's justice. All right. Which we will never get in this world, man. Right? Okay. And that's why the nation of Israel, that's why we need a savior. All right. Because here our people are. They trying to march for uh, justice. They trying to uh, march for equality. But this man is, uh, he's, he's always going to see us as three-fifths of a man. All right, we're never going to receive justice from the wicked. All right, but this is why, you know, we need Yahweh Shah to turn, return, man, because he's the one who's going to give justice unto the nation of Israel. But first and foremost, beginning with his elect, it says, For as ye have drunken upon the holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Right, just like we drunk that cup of slavery, you know, Edomites and different heathen nations. All you heathen nations are going to have to drink of that cup of slavery. We we drink it, all right? And we the Lord's chosen people. So how much more are you going to have to drink it? It says, yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, right? Power of Mount Zion, all right? Representing the Israelites, man. The Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh's chosen people. It says, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. Right? The house of Jacob and Joseph representing the southern and the northern kingdom. It says, uh, and house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle them, kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall be there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it, right? So that's speaking about after the thousand years of slavery, we're going to bundle up the so-called white nation and we're going to throw them into a pit of fire. All right. And we never going to have to see a pale face, red Edomite ever again. Okay. And I want to get one more scripture. All right. I was thinking about this Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. It reads, for thou art an holy people, right? The nation of Israel is a holy people. When you go into that word holy in the Hebrew, it's kodash, which means uh, set apart. We're, we're, we're set apart from, from all the different nations on the planet Earth, okay? And he, even in this lowest state, even we going through the curses, even though we curse through the city, all right? We're still uh, the most uh, talked about people. We, we, you got all the other nations want to be like us. They want to sing like us. They want to dance like us. They want to be smart like us. They want to play basketball like us. They want to throw the football like us. It says, The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Right? So the Lord says, We above all the people on the planet earth. We're above the so-called white man. We're above, we're above the so-called Africans. We're above the so-called East Indians. We're above the so-called Chinese men. We're above the so-called Hawaiians and Japhetic nations. All right? And you got our people marching for equality, want to be equal. All right, but the Lord says we're above these people, man. All right? So I just want to bring that lesson out through the Spirit. I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect. I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to my power.
Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, this, which consists of the men, women, and children. And Yahweh Bashem Al Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. The Wadi Al Bashem Al Shai, forgive me the spirit of truth. The Wadi Al Bashem Al Shai, forgive me the Holy Spirit. The Rachak Wadash to make this lesson, the Lord willing, unto the next lesson. I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. DTA, Kwam Yashallah, Shalom.